beautiful clear day. Gotta do a little bit of snow movement. And so, here we go. Um, for those who haven't owned a diesel vehicle before, I don't know about the newest cars, but I know uh, old diesel cars and trucks, probably even modern ones, there's a couple steps to starting them. You just don't turn and crank it over. Uh, it doesn't work. Compression ignition is what diesels work on. They don't have a spark plug. Um, so compression of the pistons, and then it squirts in diesel fuel into the combustion chamber, which expands it, makes the piston go around. That's that's the diesel cycle in a nutshell. Um, along with valves opening and drawing in air and things like that. So how does the compressed air get hot enough? Well, in very cold weather, it doesn't. So there's these things called glow plugs. So they're, they're shaped like a spark plug, but they go into the combustion chamber area. And they, they are electrically heated, which is why diesels generally need some serious batteries. Plus, the compression ratio is much higher, so it's squeezing the air much tighter. So you need more power for the starter as well. Multiple things going on. But the glow plugs give it a warm spot so when it ejects the fuel, it'll actually start. So I just did one cycle, but I'm going to do another one here. I started up on my uh, 1023E. It's these little uh, loopy things. It cuts off after a few moments. Then we turn it over. It's running a little rough. And now it's catching. So now we have it started and now we can go. Um, nice little cloud of smoke here. Uh, generally I take it a little bit easy, make sure there's I make sure I have oil pressure. Lift up the front end loader a bit. We'll get our backhoe going here. Yep, come on up. There we go. Okay. Make sure that's up. Good. All right. And um, then, of course, I don't have the parking brake on. I get afraid that that's going to stick in the cold weather. Um, now the smoke is actually clear. It's just water vapor. So I put it into gear. And then we can go. So let's go do that. So that's your cold start technique for diesels. Um, a little bit quieter once you're outside the shed. We can lift this up. Um, I already did some pushing of snow the other day. We had over a foot fall. I built a little bit of a snow pile there. Um, you know, cleared out the snow going up to it. I got a path here, but I'm gonna widen the path going towards the backyard a little bit. Um, yeah, I kind of pushed it along a slot. You know, I watched some videos on slot dozing, and the idea is that you just do it again and again in a slot so that what you're pushing doesn't fall off to the sides, it stays ahead of the blade. In this case, it's not a blade, it's a bucket, but technique works just the same. Just keep this level, and then we can drop it down and do some pushing. I have it in four-wheel drive, by the way. That's pretty much needed um, in this kind of weather. Now, I did do some clearing uh, before the last snowfall here, but uh, it got all covered up. So we'll just kind of push the snow and see what we do here. And then when I'm steering, sometimes it doesn't want to steer, so I have to pick up on the uh, bucket a little bit to give the front wheels traction to actually steer, and then I can push the snow. So this is a little bit of snow pushing, uh, or material pushing 101, really. Now just lift and lift and build it up into a pile. There we go. Pretty straightforward. And then of course we turn my trap over and then backing up. And then uh, just double checking my pathways here. But see there, I just cleared out that section there and pushed it off to the side. So that's a little bit of what I'm doing here. I gotta clear a path back further out, um, get rid of our kitty litter, things like that, no big deal. But this is the story. And then um, here in my town on the 15th of January, I can actually burn until the 1st of May, assuming the fire department lets me. Um, this is perfect weather for burning because this stuff ain't gonna burn. Uh, later this week, we'll have a couple inches of rain, so I'm gonna guess a bunch of this will melt and then I'll have ice, so that'll kind of suck. But uh, for now, I'm gonna clear a path and then maybe it'll go down to the ground and uh, that'll be good.
anyway, that's a bit of uh, what I'm doing. Have a good day.